hey guys welcome to my youtube channel it's official jack nyaga and welcome to the very first episode of jack's doses of inspiration so guys um jack's doses of inspiration is basically a segment um that i've introduced on my youtube channel now on today's topic of um, Jack's Doses of Inspiration, I want to discuss about um, the topic for today. It's toxic work environment. How can you know that you're working in a toxic work environment? Because you find that um, uh, most of the times you find that someone is working somewhere, um, working for a certain employer. You don't even know whether you're in a toxic environment or not. Because, um, uh, you know, being in a toxic work environment can even make you um, sink into depression. And, and most people, they, they get into depression without even knowing and they can't even resign because why? They have um, bills to pay, um, they have people who are looking up to them. So basically, um, they don't want to leave that job and, 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 not, and, and then stay without working um, um, uh, because, I mean, you have bills to pay. So basically, I want to talk about five signs that you can know that you're in a toxic work environment. Guys, before I even continue on this video, kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and tap on the notification bell um, to always get notified every time i upload a new video so let's get started so um the very first so guys if you see me looking down i have actually noted um uh, the points down on my other phone so basically we're going to be moving forward now the first point uh, that you can know that you're in a toxic work environment is chronic stress what is chronic stress in employment? Chronic stress is where um, your employer gives you unnecessary pressure. For example, let me give you an example. I am a gourmet chef by profession. So basically for a number of years, I've worked in various kitchens and you find that an employer um, gives you unnecessary pressure. For example, before I started YouTube and before I started, um, I, I made a decision to resign and start my own business, that is uh, Chef Jack's Delicacies. Um, I was working somewhere where an employer gives you unnecessary pressure. When I talk of unnecessary pressure, I'm talking about, um, for example, um, uh, I was working in the kitchen. And in the kitchen, when you're working in a kitchen, there are basically equipment and facilities that are required to ensure the workflow of a chef is uh, very efficient. So you find that this employer doesn't provide the required facilities, doesn't require, uh, doesn't um, buy um, most of the, so, some of the required ingredients, some of the critical in, in ingredients. This employer buys substandard products. And then once um, whatever the employer has bought, obviously you, you, you work with what you're provided for. So basically, you hear this employer complaining, why is the food not quality? Oh, you people, you are so slow. You, 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 you're, not even, you're not even able to deliver. You know, someone is not able, someone is ignoring purchasing the required, um, uh, the, required, the required ingredients, the required facilities, the required equipment required in a kitchen. But this person doesn't even, you know, when, once he's told, you know, you report to your employer politely. But this person ignores and yet you hear you hear him or her complaining saying that you're not uh, delivering up to the standard that they uh, they may require so chronic stress is a necessary pressure at work you know left right and center this person is always complaining you know right i hope you've understood on the point of um, um chronic stress in a workplace and when you're in a workplace that has chronic stress to be frank that is a toxic work environment. Number two, the second point that I'm going to be talking about a uh, toxic work environment, you are overworked. For example, I'm a chef by profession and according to hospitality rules, you're supposed to work for eight, or eight to ten hours a shift. You know, where I was working previously, you find that you're working for 16 to 20 hours and yet someone is paying you the salary of an individual who is working for eight hours. That is toxic. You know, if you are in an employment or in a work environment where you're being overworked and this person doesn't even pay overtime, you know, he doesn't even consider that, that you even leave work too late, you know, you're so overworked, you're so exhausted, but the person doesn't consider, you know. So if you are in, a, in an environment where you're being overworked, you know, that is a toxic work environment. Another thing is um, the third point, uh, knowing that you're in a toxic work environment, 
is being bullied when you're being bullied at work for example previously i was working somewhere where i was working under someone who has no leadership skills so this person um uh, just bullies you at work you know when you're being bullied at work i mean that is a toxic work environment for example i'll give you an example whereby you find that when you are uh, head of a department you should be able to to be a leader should have leadership skills whereby you're leading the people working under you but you cannot uh, be a head of a department whereby you keep threatening people working under you oh there's nothing that you do at work i'm going to record videos i'm going to take pictures and send to the directors and tell them that there is nothing that you're doing i mean why do you keep you know let me tell you something we're always told um human is to error and when someone in a workplace uh, commits a mistake or, or is in the wrong, you know, there is the right way of correcting someone. You don't have to shout like a, like, a, like a mad person or anything and threatening people that you're going to ensure that they are fired. I mean, why would you even do that to people working under you? You know, when you're a leader, you should be able to have, you know, the people working under you um, should always look up to you. But to be sincere, <laughs> the person I was working, uh, that was working under to be frank, I could not, there is not even one moment that I looked up to this person. So, if you're working in an environment, or in a, you are in a work environment where you're being bullied, that is a toxic work environment. Another thing, that is the third point. The fourth point is office gossips. Oh my goodness, office gossips. What is office gossips? Office gossips is whereby you find that a director or an employer is allowing gossip from uh, the normal staff when i talk about the normal staff is basically this staff um has no leadership uh, position at work um uh, you're not head of a department or anything but you find that when you gossip to your employer you know you go behind behind the back of of, of your fellow colleagues and your fellow and your fellow um and your fellow colleagues and report to the director you're not a head of department right you've not been given that responsibility to be you've not been given that responsibility to be able to report to these directors but you go behind the back of, of of your fellow colleagues you go behind the back of your fellow colleagues and report to the directors and these directors instead of even doing their due diligence and and, and being able to um, um investigate before acting they just act without even knowing whether this information is true or not and if if you find if you're in a workplace whereby your employer or your director is allowing gossips from your colleagues you know from your normal colleagues like as i've explained earlier that is a toxic work environment or for example let me give you an example with me where i was working i was working somewhere whereby uh you find that um a director calls you or texts you and this director tells you um i need you to spy on, on someone who is working on a different department i was working in the kitchen department so you as a director telling me um uh, to spy on someone who is working in a different um department than i am i mean why would you even do that huh what sort of, of style of leadership is that you know those are some of the questions i was asking myself before even i i, I was bold enough to to make that decision of resigning from that workplace you know Someone tells you, okay, do this. Eh? Tell me what the colleagues of your neighboring department, what facilities are not, uh, what facilities are they not providing to my client? I am the owner of the business, right? So what facilities, um, um, what facilities are they not providing to my clients? So this director lies to you, you know, and the moment you 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 report. I'm not specifically talking about me it can be my fellow colleague it can be you know someone else that we're working um in the same workplace this person um reports to that director and then when an issue erupts uh, this um this colleague of mine who is the head of department of a different department than the one that i'm working in eh, is summoned in the office and he's asked uh i got information that certain facilities are not being provided to my client and when this head of department my colleague head of the, my colleague um uh, uh staff eh? my colleague who is the head of department of the department that are not working i hope you guys are understanding what i'm saying eh? 
um is summoned he asked this director okay you're saying that my the people working under me are not providing certain facilities to my clients and instead of this director uh trying on on a way to to go about it the director just mentions your name you know this director lied to you saying that oh i'm not even going to mention your name that uh a certain person you're spying on them and then he's just mentioning your name so it's all about it's all about um this director is all about um uh, bringing conflicts you know if you're working in an environment where a director is just uh, um he or she is the facilitator of conflicts between staff members between colleagues that is a toxic work environment that's what i'm talking about uh office gossips you know another thing about office gossips is whereby you find that you're working in an environment a head of department is given a responsibility to report um to the director or to 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 the to the employer or to the owner of the business but when this head of department goes to report to the owner of the business the owner of bus- the owner of the business tells him or her that i already know so meaning this director is gossiping getting information from people who are not even head of departments and using them against people that he or she has employed as head of department so guys i hope you've understood on what i'm talking about office gossips that is the fourth point on to the fifth point another sign that you can know that you're working in a toxic work environment is whereby your employer or your boss is hot headed first of all ask yourself who is a hot headed boss a hot headed boss is a is an individual who uh acts upon uh, a certain information that he or she has been given without even doing the due diligence you understand for example um uh, let, let, let me say let me say some, something like um, um for example when i was working in the kitchen you find that um maybe an uh, the employer is told uh, so and so on a certain individual uh, on a certain individual has has been breaking uh, utensils something like that or so and so has not been um, doing her chore he, he or she has not been doing his or her chores well instead of this uh, director doing the due diligence he just starts acting oh i want you to do warning letters to this individual i want you i want that person i want that person suspended i mean you've not even done your due, due diligence and you hear saying warning letters to be written or a certain person to be suspended seriously that is a hot headed boss you know if you're working in an environment where your employer is, is like that that is a toxic work environment and let me tell you something about a toxic work environment that's a very dangerous space you can be working it's a very dangerous space you're working at you know or maybe another thing on on on, on the topic of of a head of a hot headed boss eh? is whereby you're working for someone you're giving 100% yourself but this individual doesn't even consider the effort that you're giving at work you know so so arrogant so malicious you know have you worked for a boss who is malicious no and 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 you who can't even listen to the needs of the staff members for example i was working somewhere whereby um from ta- from time to time uh staff members keep complaining that they don't have the right attires um for example the right uniform uh, the right standard of uniforms to work um in the workplace and this director is told uh please do provide kindly do provide um the required attire f- for various staff members uh who are working in different departments so that they can always be neat at work this director ignores and doesn't even provide but you will hear the director saying oh you people why are you not decent at work you always need to be decent at work i mean you were told to provide you can't even be able to provide for your staff members the required you know the required attire that they are, they need in a workplace but you'll always be complaining saying that uh, they are always not neat at work i mean you was that is an employer who is the head of a toxic work environment you know so guys i hope you've learned something on the five points of um of the five signs of a toxic work environment so guys uh, like this video 
comment down below and share widely with your friends and family and above all subscribe to my youtube channel and tap on the notification bell to always get notified every time i upload a new video also do follow me on instagram at jack underscore nyaga and let's get social another thing guys if you'd like me to um, um uh, handle topics such as the topic that i've done on this video comment down below and i will always um be reading your comments and i'll do videos for at your service um uh, until next time i've been your host official jack nyaga bye guys